Hi, uh, it's Robin Sharma, and I hope you are fantastic. And I wanted to pull over. Uh, I was out uh, for a drive, and um, I wanted to record this or show up live and uh, share four ideas that will help you navigate these interesting times and thrive and you know come out of this in a, in a very positive strong way um, I'm delighted to see that in some countries the uh, situation is getting better and better uh, and we're starting to think about a, co a post COVID-19 world um, so I want to just offer you some insights right now the first is please remember as you navigate these interesting times that hard times make great heroes so Nelson Mandela became Nelson Mandela in his 18 years on Robben Island Rosa Parks became Rosa Parks when she faced mistreatment I'm reading a great book called uh, the splendid and the vile about how Winston Churchill on May the 10th 1940 became Prime Minister of Britain and how he led Britain through World War II, his personal maneuvers, how he thought, how he approached the whole thing. And I guess Winston Churchill became Winston Churchill in World War II. Before that, they said he was he was too, he was sort of hot-headed and, you know, not as grounded as his predecessor, uh, Cham uh, Neville Chamberlain. One of Churchill's friends said, um, you know, if I had to spend my life with someone, it would be Neville, Neville Chamberlain. But if, was, but if I was in a storm and shipwrecked, I'd want to be with you, Winston Churchill. So the first point I wanted to offer to you is just hard times make, make great heroes. You know, any one of us can be strong and graceful and optimistic and a great leader when everything's going well. We get to show our leadership chops and what we're made of right now. And I'm not saying it's wrong to feel afraid or anxious or lonely or whatever you might be feeling. Honor those feelings because they want a voice. Uh, if you've read the 5M Club, you know about the four interior empires. It's not only mindset, it's heart set, health set, and soul set. So you want to honor how you're feeling. You're, you're human. I'm human. And once you've honored that feeling and processed through it, maybe in prayer or journal or meditation, and step up your leadership game and lead with your family and lead with your team and lead with your customers and keep on asking yourself, how can I bring fresh value to as many people as possible? So when you come out of the global pandemic that we're all facing and lockdown, you're actually stronger and healthier and more of use and you've built a better business and a better life. The, the second idea that I wanna share with you is leader lead thyself. It's a theme that I've been evangelizing for over 24 years. And you can't lead your family. You can't lead your customers. You can't lead your marketplace. You can't lead your community if you haven't led yourself. And that's why morning routine is so incredibly important right now. So important. Give yourself that victory hour that I explained in the 5am club. Run the 2020-20 formula. So you battle proof your mindset, you purify your heart set, you escalate your health set, and you improve your soul set. That first hour of the day is going to fundamentally reshape the way the rest of your day unfolds. If you do only do one thing, exercise at home first thing in the morning. Make sure you sweat so you release BDNF and dopamine the hope neurochemical and serotonin and norepinephrine and and oxytocin you'll feel so much better look you might wake up in the morning feeling groggy or unhappy or discouraged but just by exercising your human will and doing some skipping on the spot or some running on the spot or you know, riding your bike around the neighborhood if that's permitted in your area or jumping jacks like they do in the military. Even 10 minutes, in, in the 5M Club I talk about the 20-20-20 formula, but even 10 minutes of exercise will fundamentally activate and electrify your pharmacy of mastery in your brain. It'll increase your metabolic... Um, anyway, morning routine, 
unbelievably important. I, I'm spending 20 minutes in the sun every day. I'm not giving you any medical advice whatsoever. I'm just saying I spend 20 minutes in the sun whenever it's sunny now to get more vitamin D, which, is increase, which will increase my immunity. I'm increasing in hydration. Water is so important for metabolic function to fl flush out the toxins and for mitochondrial function. So hydrate more than usual. Rest. Take the rest you need to keep your immune system strong. You know, you might know me for, right now anyway, the 5 a.m. club book, but there's a whole chapter in there on the essentialness of sleep. And, you know, I, I've never suggested that getting up early and enjoying all the amazing benefits from rising with the sun, I've never suggested you should be sleep deprived. Actually, the science says seven to nine hours of good sleep, and I take naps. Naps are really important to me. And uh, what else do I have here? Exercise, water, sunbathing, meditation. There's an, I like the podcast Meditation Oasis. Um, she does wonderful 20-minute uh, minute meditations. Sometimes I just meditate in total silence. I've also subscribed to the Calm app, uh, and it, I find it an excellent app. But this is a great time for you to learn how to meditate. It's a great time for you to join the 5 a.m. club. It's a great time for you to develop your leadership. It's a great time for you to reconnect with your family. It's a great time to learn to write in a journal and to detect your most, your life's most important priorities. I think this is a great reset on the planet where we're realizing a lot of us were busy being busy, but maybe busy around the wrong things. Two last things. I'd say, please, you know, unite. This is a time for us to all come together as brothers and sisters on the planet. Anything you could do to be compassionate to people. If there's an elderly neighbor that you can help, if it's a family member, if it's someone in need, if you're a business person, a lot of people who follow me are entrepreneurs and industry titans. You know, think about the people you do business with. Take incredibly good care of your family, of course. I'm going to say it again, you can't care for others if you don't care for yourself. But also take very good care of your team. Your team, if you're in business, is looking to you for leadership, hope, safety, guidance. And if you are in business right now, this is an incredible time to add even more value to your marketplace. And it's an incredible time to let your customers know how much you love them. Final thing is perspective. Perspective, very simple word, but this will end. We're going to come out stronger. There's an opportunity for you to build a better human inside of yourself right now. In my own life, I've learned the most through my most tragic experiences. In hindsight, I realized they were actually blessings, not curses. So keep perspective. This too shall pass. Better days are coming. In many nations, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel getting brighter. People are thinking about a post-COVID-19 world and the economy's being rebooted. Uh, so good, better days are coming. It's a great time to serve. It's a great time to, you know, show your best self. I want to do something for you to bring you some real value, as I always try to do. If you go to my, the, my profile, there is a link in my profile here on Instagram that says war, the War Measures Manual. We have already had 60,000 people in a very short period of time downloading it. And I want you to read it. It's 10 pages of pure value that tells you how do you fireproof your hope? How do you stay strong? How do you protect your family? Specific tactics on being more creative and productive through quarantine. You definitely want to read the War Measures Manual. No charge whatsoever. My gift to you. Go to my profile. Click on the link in my profile. Read it. Share it. Share it with your family. Share it with your team. Share it with your customers. Share it with your community. It's an act of service that I'm offering to you beautiful value. You'll see it when you read it. Again, go to my profile, click on the link, and you'll see the War Measures Manual. 
Read it, study it, share it, and I know it'll help you. Um, let me just go to some comments. Lucas says, gracias, Robin, de nada. Uh, Diego, good to see you. Diego, Sonza. Uh, I see some more people saying thank you, and it's a privilege for me to serve, so. Lucy, uh, amazing, thank you, you're welcome. It's, it's my honor to be of helpfulness to anyone who's interested. Uh, Grace, Valeria, and let me, let me continue to inspire. I'm gonna do my best and stay healthy. And, um, you know, as long as I get to serve, I'm gonna be here to do so. All right, guys, I uh, hope this helps. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, stay healthy, stand strong, and be of good courage. From here in my vehicle, I say uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.